All right, so we have the alternative form of our Fourier series, and we know that we can write this a n and this phase here as the amplitude and the phase of our Fourier series. And this a n and b n is what we call the Fourier coefficients. So we saw also that these Fourier coefficients were defined as the integral of your signal times the cosine and sine over that period. And we also saw that based on that trigonometry identity, I could relate these a n and b n with the respective Fourier coefficients. So have in mind that these Fourier coefficients are actually representing your periodic signals. They are representing your sine waves, your square waves, or even more complex periodic signals. And how are we going to find the values of all these integrals or these Fourier coefficients? Well, you actually apply the integral um, of that on your signals. But for our analysis, circuit analysis, we're going to use actually tables. So someone already did the hard work for us. And if we can, we're going to use those tables as much as we can. So I'm going to give just um, four examples here. This is the example for your sine wave. So someone already computed the integrals and found these respective Fourier coefficients. You can see here the DC component equal to zero. You see that for your sinusoidal wave, you only have one Fourier coefficient, B1. All the other ones are zero. And I'm going to use Desmos and I'm going to show you how can you use Desmos to apply the Fourier series plus the alternative form and plot all these um, values and see the time representation of your signal with using Fourier series. So let's go and see the sinusoidal wave. All right, so our second waveform, it's going to be a triangle wave. This case now, notice that I don't have any DC component in our signal, it's equal to zero. And I only have the Fourier coefficients A of N when N is odd. And uh, on Desmos, what I'm going to do to represent this odd is I'm going to use the mod of N uh, of two. So if n is an odd, this is going to give you 1. If n is even, this is going to give you 0. All right, so let's see that um, on Desmos. Alright, our next wave is the sawtooth wave. Now we're going to have only the BN Fourier coefficients and A is related with the amplitude of our sawtooth wave. We do have also a DC offset. So let's implement this on Desmos.
and at last we're going to use these rectangular poles now we have a couple more parameters that we're going to include we have the duty cycle t over your period and we're going to have only an coefficients in our Fourier series.